This is question number 85 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes a dependent source. So we are being asked about a dependent source. So a dependent source is represented like this. If it is a voltage source, we will have the symbol like this. If it is a current source, we will have a symbol like this. So this can be voltage dependent voltage source. In that case, we will have KVX. It can be current dependent voltage source. So it can be R I X same goes for current source. It can be current dependent current source. So we have K prime I X or it can be voltage dependent current source. So it can be G V X right. So now let us see maybe a current source or a voltage source option A seems to be the right one. Option B says is always a voltage source. How can it be? It can either be a current source or it can be a voltage source. And option C also contradicting is always a current source. No, it can also be voltage source. And option D says neither a current source nor a voltage source. Then what is it? In electrical engineering, we only have two form of sources. One is voltage source, another is current source. Even if you call something as a power source, it has to deliver that power in the form of voltage and current. So option D cannot be the answer. So for this question, option A is the right answer. A dependent source is something that may be a current source or a voltage source. It can be dependent upon some external voltage or some external current. So option A is the right answer.